in a far-flung part of the Philippines, Arthur Benjamin is in a good mood. All the pretty girls running around, uh, I'm good. <laughs> Laughing, drinking, ogling the girls dancing on stage at this bar, which he says he owns. This is your life. In a nutshell, pretty much. <laughs> Benjamin is a 49-year-old American suspected of having sex with underage girls and selling them for sex out of this bar called Crowbar. But as he drinks, Benjamin has no idea that at that very moment, the first target is going to be in the Crowbar. Filipino and American authorities are just a few miles away, plotting a raid that will bring his world crashing down. the story of Arthur Benjamin. We traveled to Subic Bay, a beautiful part of the western Philippines where Benjamin has been living for 25 years. But our journey went deeper, past Benjamin, into the dark and disturbing world of underage prostitution, discovering how all too easy it is to buy sex with underage girls. How old are you? 14. The Philippines has quietly emerged as a top destination for Americans not just looking to have sex, there's 16 year olds in there, I guarantee you, but to sell sex as well. I love 300 girls are and they go all night for 30 bucks. A lot of the Americans want to come here because they perceive it's easier to operate here in the, than in the United States. And we're happy to remind them that they are, uh, they are sadly mistaken. Eric McLaughlin is a special agent with the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, investigating Americans who may be committing crimes here in the Philippines. For the Benjamin case, he recently teamed up with a local nonprofit organization called Prada. We have our undercover team which has been gathering evidence against Benjamin for months. It's my job as a U.S. law enforcement investigator to determine if those allegations are accurate. And if they are accurate, we will pursue them to the ends of the earth to make sure they're held accountable. We want to meet Benjamin and see for ourselves what's going on inside that bar. Red light recording. So producer Alex Waterfield and I put on these tiny hidden cameras that look like shirt buttons. We hop on the local jeepney to head down to a rundown part of town to Benjamin's bar. We don't know what to expect. Around a dozen young women are milling around, including this one. What's your name? Princess. Princess is one of the most popular girls in the bar. She's just 16 years old. And it's not long before Princess and another girl are offered to us. 1,500 pesos, just under $40. Mama Lucy is what's called a mama-san. She manages the girls. We decline her offer, but she calls Benjamin to come meet us. Alex. Alex, Alex good to meet you. Within minutes, the six-foot-six Texan tells us about his sex life and his business. A former waitress had written to his wife in California on Facebook, which leads to this shocking and frank statement. to our hidden cameras, Benjamin tells us he has a 16-year-old girlfriend who lives in a house out back. Yeah, we call her my chocolate. She's a little tiny, very dark-skinned girl. She needed a place to stay, and I needed a place to do her. I bought a bar for her. And after texting her to come over, she walks in. She's so young, we're blurring her face to protect her identity. Her actual name is Jake. Benjamin's declaration was so stunning. The following morning, we felt we had to alert Special Agent Eric McLaughlin. But he says building a case against Benjamin requires more evidence. So this guy saying on tape, I've had sex with underage girls repeatedly, that's not enough to arrest him. No, it's, it's a very strong indication, but we have to, as investigators, we have to prove these actual acts occurred. And me just saying that, that's not enough. 
The key might be this 18-year-old girl named Marisol. Until December, she worked at Benjamin's Bar. Today, Marisol has come to the Prada Center, the nonprofit that began tracking Benjamin and identifies in photos four girls who work there, who she says are underage, including the one we met, Princess. Why did you decide to tell your story? What, what did you want to happen? I felt hopeless working in the bar, she says, that my friends, especially the minors, feel the same way. I wanted to tell my story and to save them. Benjamin isn't the only American capitalizing on the demand. Many in this long string of bars in Subic Bay are owned or managed by Americans. Many of them are military veterans. We got like uh, eight bars, all four old, military, Marines, Army. It's really well organized because we just don't understand the uh, magnitude of what we got going on here. Subic Bay was home to a U.S. naval base for almost 50 years, providing a boon to the prostitution industry. They're 30 bucks. It's going to like feed their whole family for a week. You know? Enjoy it, man. Don't get, don't get too wrapped up in your head about it. To see how easy it is for Americans to find underage girls, we visited the neighboring town of Angeles, 45 minutes from Subic Bay and Art Benjamin's Bar. It takes less than half an hour before we're approached by this woman who offers us not just young girls, but virgins. Wow, how many different girls do you have? And for each one, it's 30000 or $750. We will talk about it, and maybe we'll come back and see you, okay? Later that night, we meet the woman and the girls near a busy intersection. How old are you? 15. You're 15. And you? Team. You're in school. What grade are you in? Second. What? Second, so eighth grade. You look very nervous. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's okay. This is your aunt. Yes, auntie. This is your auntie. Yeah. She loves you? Yeah, very much. Then why is she asking you to do this? Because she knows 